How's it going everybody? Well, it is another beautiful, hot, sunny day. And uh, we're gonna make some hay today. You see I got the, the coon rake. I got it hooked onto the 4040. It's actually the smallest tractor we have available right now. I just pulled that off the manure spreader. But we got the 3010, I think that's still sitting up there, on the John Deere drill. The 29's on the corn planter. My dad's gotta put some more, uh, another variety of sweet corn in. So we're not taking that off. Yeah, all the corn's been in the ground. I know I posted a couple of videos. By the time I get these videos up, uh, it's not always the time that I record them. So, uh, but the corn's been in the ground for a while. We're just, uh, you don't wanna plant all your sweet corn at the same time. Then it's all gonna, uh, excuse me. You don't need it all maturing at the same time. He wants different varieties to mature at different points of the summer. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go through this. this is the first time we're using this rake this summer. Or yeah, yeah, this summer. So I'm gonna go through, grease everything up. Um, two small fields is all we're gonna do. We're not gonna get too crazy with it. Uh, like I said, two small fields. We got a tractor trailer that we started um, when we cleaned out this side of the barn here to get the fan, new fans in. Um, so that's not full so we use some of the hay to top that off so they can get the tractor trailer out of here we need hay i gotta go out and put some in the hay racks as soon as it gets here uh and then we'll drop some in the barn um so what i have to do is i have to go out and rake uh, my dad's gonna come behind me and bail and then while he's bailing i get done raking i gotta oil the chains of the elevator make sure that's all set up so oh for starters though i'm gonna go through like i said grease everything and then we'll hit the road so i know you guys don't need to see me grease everything so we'll uh yeah let's get started put this new air seat to work all right so we're all greased up all sprayed checked everything over should be good to go available tractor we do have the 520 but uh, I'm not taking the 520 down the road with this so let's run down the road let's make some hay job yesterday it laid that out real nice Let's see how we are in this shadow area here. Outside's always the wettest because it's always in the shadow. That's not bad at all. Can't see, uh, can't think of too many fields that probably aren't ready to go after this heat we've been getting, this lack of rain and this heat we've been getting. So, time to uh, adjust this rake. Tractor's a mess from being on the motor spreader, but we'll set it down. Like I said, make some uh, make some rows. My first row, I'm just gonna take this first one, roll it in, turn around, and then put it back out, and then everything else 
Depending on how thick it is, I don't know if I'll double it up or just single rake it. We'll see how it goes. Nice looking hay. I always gotta smell it, someone says it. Yeah, nice stuff. Cows are like this. Timothy in this one. There was down the other field. People ask a lot, what do we use for hay or what kind of grass we use? We usually um, use a mix. It's got, this field doesn't have as much Timothy, but it's like a Timothy fescue mix. So I know I'll have someone ask me, so I might as well just address it now because I'm doubling up my rows. So I'm gonna say, well, why don't you just get a double rake or get a B rake? The wheel rake. I don't know. Some about the wheel rakes. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I don't know. I've never used one. I'm not 100% sold on them. I, I just. I know they're not supposed to touch the ground and everything, but uh, it's just something about them. I just think they would put stones into the in, into the row. That's what I don't want to do. I like the rotary rake. I've only used uh, the rotary rake and the, and the roll bar rake, but I don't know. I know with one of those V wheel rakes, I can put a lot of hay in one pass and, and all that. 
then I wouldn't have to double up and all that. And I know someone's going to say, well, why don't you just buy a double rotary rake? And, uh, yeah, they're a lot of money. Frankly, if I'm going to spend $30,000, uh, I'd rather double up my windrows and buy a round baler. So, that's just my take. And someone may disagree with me, but that's why we live in this great country. We are allowed to disagree and we are allowed to have our own opinions. But, anyway. So why don't I have a double rake? They're pricey. Like I said, I know the, the wheel rakes aren't as pricey and you can you do the same thing I'm doing now. I'm just, like I said, I'm just not sold on it. Maybe if I tried one, I would think differently, but I don't know. I like the rotary rakes. all unhooked. I'm gonna take a wagon down to them. God bless air conditioning. And I don't even feel guilty about it either because it's just a matter of time before I'm up in that hay now. So. All right. Sit down the road and go bale some hay.
take this back now. We'll feed this right up to the cows, so I'm not even gonna stack it in the mow. I'm just gonna let it drop and pile. Like I said, we'll feed it right up, so. Time to head back to the barn.